Hello everyone, welcome to Alisa Gaming Time. Today we've got some new news and some old news to talk about. Here's the intro. Let's start off with Battlefront 2. So, last weekend, if you didn't get a chance to claim the Leia skin from A New Hope, then you've got another chance within this weekend. And also, the May calendar came out with all the other events, but most especially, the new content drop will be coming to uh, Battlefront 2 on the 22nd of May. And also, speaking of Battlefront 2, EA Play got announced with the more official dates on the 8th and 9th of June. It will feature the following games, Apex Legends, Anthem, exclusive new content for Battlefield 5, and also for the EA Sport games, and more. And including, it will have a special Star Wars experience for Jedi Fallen Order, where new gameplay would actually get revealed during this event. No word on Battlefront 2 though, but it looks like we've gone from a high Battlefront 2 where there's been lots of content drops to the point where maybe they're going to be taking it easy until episode 9 gets released because it looks like that's how it's going to go. But now I also feel like if they were going to do like bigger things than what they've done before, they would need to be supporting it throughout not just 2019, but I feel like 2020. Some more details for the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC got revealed last week, and here are the details for the paid content first. Additional scenario called RE Mind, which is the temporary title for the DLC, secret episode and boss limited episode and boss and for the free content keyblades and a form charge and speaking of keyblades the pre-ordered keyblades that were available beforehand to pre-order when you pre-ordered the game are now available separately to buy as dlc now i'm talking about these ones that should be up on your screens right now now pending what country you're in It'll either be priced at like five dollars, or for the UK, two pounds and forty-nine p. And yeah, it seems like the UK has got the cheapest here. But even though one of them is a Keyblade skin and another is a new Keyblade, I'm still gonna buy them. In fact, I have already bought them because I don't know. I just want to show my support for Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC because this. I want to see more of this. And if you're wondering why it's been priced at, in fact, why does it have a price at all? It's because they were pre order keyblades. It would be a bit of a, um, it wouldn't be nice to the people who pre ordered the game at a high price and got these uh, keyblade, key, keyblades, and, and suddenly when they release them separately they will release them for free i don't think that would be the right way to go so instead they chose to put a price on it i know people will disagree about it but huh, can't please everyone state of play happened this week and here are the two things that i'm going to talk about first be medi Evil. Now we got more of a trailer. We did actually know more of a story trailer of how the story's gonna look and how the graphics and how all this and that looks. It looks good, but most importantly, the release date for it will be October the 25th of this year. I have no idea if pre orders are up or not, and I have no idea if this will be a PlayStation exclusive or not. Or maybe this will be a PlayStation exclusive for a year and it will go to other consoles like how Crash Bandicoot the NSA Trilogy did. And then moving on to the biggest news stamp of State of Play Final Fantasy VII Remake got a new trailer. We got to see a lot of new stuff. Overall, it was a very nice, fantastic trailer and it also looks like one of the things from Kingdom Hearts. Um, has been implanted into this game, which will be the command board. 
Now, at the end of the trailer, it said we will be getting more details in June. So, it looks like it could be at that concert or at E3. My money's on E3. Life is Strange 2 released episode 3 this week. And I've got to say, my review video will be coming soon, but episode 3 was very much intense. I enjoyed it like always. I enjoyed seeing Sean and Daniel again. But I like episode 1 and 2, I'm uncertain where they can go from here. I'll have another video linked down below about what type of questions I have for it. But episode 3 is now officially released and you don't have to buy the season pass, it is um, released separately. And they also, like always, have a teaser for the next episode and I'm going to show you it now. And if you're wondering, episode 4 comes out August 22nd. This is it, son. You're toast. End of the road. No way out this time. We got a lot of room in jail for cop murderers like you. You're alone now. Alone. Now finally, we're going to talk about Days Gone. Now, this June, there will be some free content coming to the game. Like, for instance, there will be new um, challenges for, like, new herds and new stuff that will be in the game. But most importantly, there will be a new mode, and this will be more of a survival mode. For instance, certain things that you see in either easy mode or hard mode won't be in this mode to make it extremely difficult. So, will I be playing this mode? I might give it a try, but uh, I wouldn't go all out to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that I will actually maybe beat it. But overall, it doesn't look like that they will be adding any type of story DLC, which is a bit of a shame because when like the Spider-Man game or Horizon Silver Dawn did this, it was just, I, I, I loved it. They extended the story. So maybe this time around they're doing this and any ideas for DLC will just be pushed to side to a sequel or maybe they're just gonna do this and then do free content and then we're gonna have to wait a couple of years to see what they're really doing I don't know do I think Days Gone 2 is in the works? Maybe but I want to count on it. Lastly I just want to say that uh, Dreams Early Access, there's a lot of fantastic creations that you guys have made and I do plan on showing my top 10 favourite creations that I have played, that I have seen, either music or not, whatever. So, yeah, uh, Dreams Early Access I believe is still available to buy, I will put a link down below and yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.